Hi everybody, this is Nathan Ware at Rain Networks, and today we're going to do a video on how to set up your MX records and um, get the routing done in Proofpoint so that Proofpoint can actually start uh, filtering your mail and getting your mail cleaned up for you. So if you watched our last video, what we talked about was how to get your domain put into the system and how to verify your domain. So make sure you go through those steps, very, very critical, and I'll just highlight that one of the um, last steps that's most important is that you click the little green slider bar to the right of your domain to activate the relaying. Uh, once you've done that, wait about 30 to 60 minutes and you're now ready to change over your MX records. So just to give you a quick uh, backstory on where we're at here in the system, we're logged into Proofpoint, we're under company settings and we're under domains. Here's our domain. And I've set the domain up, I've turned on relaying. You may also remember I clicked this little button here for testing the domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick on this one. You'll notice here that a couple of things that show up is A, Proofpoint can make a successful port 25 connection to my mail server, that's good. But you'll notice that it says here that my MX records are not pointed to Proofpoint. So that's what I need to fix and that's what we're gonna go through in this video. So the first piece of info that you will need are the MX records that Proofpoint uses. For Proofpoint Essentials, these are the two MX records that every customer uses for the Proofpoint Essential system. So what we need to do is go take these and put these into our domain DNS system. In this case, uh, we use GoDaddy for our uh, hosting for this domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the first MX record and copy it. I'm gonna bring my GoDaddy window over here. I'm in the DNS manager for my domain. I'm gonna click add. The record type is gonna be MX, and this will be similar uh, for other hosting providers. They'll have similar looking screens here. In the host field, you're gonna put an at sign. In the points to field, you're gonna put in that proof point MX record. And then for MX1, I always use priority 10. And then I wanna hit save. Okay, then we're gonna repeat that process for the second one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, copy it, go back to my GoDaddy DNS manager, click MX record, put the at sign, and put in the MX2 value in here. Priority on this one I use is 20, okay? So you can see that now I have my MX record listed here in the system. The other thing I need to do is delete my previous record. Um, so here's my previous record that points directly to Office 365. I need to go ahead and delete that record. So I'm gonna hit the little pencil edit icon next to it, and then hit the little trash can to make that record go away, okay? And voila, it's just that easy. I've now put in my two MX records for GoDaddy. I can come back here. Now this may take a few minutes to update, so it probably is not gonna show it right now, but if I retest, I click on the test domain icon, it still shows the old one. But if I give it you know, five or 10 minutes here and wait and come back and click that test icon again, it'll eventually show up like these other ones do. Let me click the test icon here. Notice it shows the correct MX records for this domain because it's been set up for quite a while in here. So the other domain, my new domain here, will also show that as soon as the uh, system updates. And like I said, depending on the domain registrar, that could take five minutes, it could take 20 minutes, you know, it could take a little bit of time. So, um, but that's basically the uh, settings for routing your email uh, from Proofpoint uh, to your mail server so that Proofpoint can clean and filter your mail uh, before it reaches you. All right, stay tuned for more videos on Proofpoint Essentials. Thanks for joining us today.